O chalice. What's up, guys? Hello, everybody. Starfire, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. What's going on? Big fan, Insty, and bigger fan. Brown, what's going on, dude? Chaos, hello, hello. Hi, Kilo, hi, Keyboard, hi, Spicy. Hi, has arrived. Hi, Ultima, hi, Jishi, hi, Metrics. How you doing? Hello, everyone. Exodus, uh, Eon, how you doing? Uh, Magnificus came from the high pitch keyboard TikTok. Go figure, the TikTok that I put the least amount of effort into does the best. Like, just go figure, dude. <laughs> Honestly, it was kind of fun, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was funny to edit. I was, like, on a call with Space Cables this morning, just kind of, like, dicking around with that. What flavor? Um, okay, this is a flavor I'm not too sure I like. It's coconut pineapple. It's okay. It came in the variety pack. I don't know. It's kind of mid, I think. It's kind of mid. I feel like it's a little mid. Got my 40 today and I love it. We're doing a little chalice today. A little, just a little one. Ooh, my hair's a little messy. I did a little workout today, feeling good. <clears throat> is that the dullest desk pad? It is. Hi, Kip. Hi, what's up? How you doing? Hello, Oak. Um, Sundays, or tomorrow's stream will be on YouTube, just because it's been streaming so much. Might as well mix it up. Was thinking of the Libra Mini, so I'm excited to see this. Today should be interesting, though. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Like the chalice. I love the color that we got though, like, not gonna lie. Seth, what's going on, dude? Uh, yo, keep baby coming soon. Thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it, man. Oh, guys, I had the best, well, it was a DM on, on, on uh, Discord. Someone said, hey, do you mind checking uh, a, a DM on Instagram. I've been sending you one for a little while. I'd like you to check it out. 
So I was like, what can hurt, bro? Z Zitch, thank you, dude. I Yo. appreciate that for t t seven months, bro. I appreciate that, dude. So, like any curious person, I went to go check out what he's been sending me. He sent me a photo of my moon tower and said he's struggling with his 2017 MacBook and really needs an input device for it. And I'm just like, bro, that's still really new. So of course I just didn't answer. Then he messaged me again with like a bro, this, he hit me with a, this is really gonna help me out if you can do it, dude. Like, it's really gonna help me out. And I'm just like, how is this keyboard, when you already have a keyboard, gonna make you better? So I, I, I asked him, I said, how, I said, I said to him, how is this gonna make your life better? Bro, he straight hit me with a, I think I'll, I think I'll be able to type faster. Therefore, my code will come out quicker. Do people on, on Instagram think I was born yesterday? <laughs> Is that like a born yesterday moment? Adds up. So that's how it works, I guess so. Akigami. Alex saying his hair is a mess just to humble us. Look at that dashing flow on his dome. Bro. I feel like I'm watching a shampoo, a shampoo commercial. commercial. Holy shit. Snippety, thank you so much for the 17 months as well. Akigami. Love this one here, read out. Alex getting for. scammed every day out here. Confirmed Alex is born today. It's just so, it's so like weird to me that people, uh, that people still like, I don't know. I guess it's like interesting because you have the confidence to go and ask someone for something like that. But I think it's like it's it's misdirected confidence. I can't, dude, I don't know what it is. It's just it feels weird. You know? Are you hinting to a moon tower giveaway? No, but I'll be doing a tons of tons of other stuff though. Pinky promise. Tons of other things will be given away soon. And Akigami. You know what I would never give away? The friendship that me and you have built, all right? Carry me through Gambit some more, please. I appreciate you, I love you. Hopefully you're having a great day today, dude. Just be confident and make me type more confidently. That's true too. Some people have the mentality that kind equals naive. That's very true too. A, a lot of very kind people do get taken advantage of. Damn it, that's what I forgot to pick up today. I ordered another, ah, oh, okay, I have to go get this tomorrow. Or, or maybe I'll just go after stream. I, I ordered some more uh, dielectric grease because this is kind of it's on its last legs. That's how many keyboards I built. Uh, yeah, all my giveaways are. All my giveaways are. But we'll we'll do that soon. I don't know when it will be be done. I, I, there'll be tons of fun stuff in the next like few weeks. I wonder if there's a gambling version of Alex on Twitch. Not possible. So nice. It's scientifically proven the more expensive Jenny. the keyboard, the faster you type. That's actually true. It's right up there with the more coils on the cable, the faster it works. Yeah. First of all, not anymore because it's physically impossible. But honestly, I'm not a gambling person. Never have been, never will. Um, I don't care for gambling. Um, I haven't had it affect anyone that I know, like my family, I guess. Um, but I just think it's stupid, to be honest. Where do you get your music from? It is all from Lo-Fi Girl and Hello Essay Fear. All right, look at this cute little case, first of all, the chalice. Look at all the twos. Zero, two, 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 two. I guess it does kind of count though. Um, honestly, Angel, I do think it kind of counts. Like, rarity of stuff all has like a value and shit like that, so, and you did purchase it. So I, I guess that would count, man. Then call me again. Oh my freaking gosh. All right, let's see what's inside. Actually, first, dude, take a look how cute this thing is. If, again, I said this when we unboxed it the first time, my voice just totally cracked there. It's still getting better. I'm not 100% back. I said this when we unboxed this the first time. I'm kind of disappointed that this inside piece, like this, is not on this side. Like, don't get me wrong, this is still a very cute keyboard. You know, a little cute stir over here. 
Would have loved this to be on the other side though. That would have been super unique. But this still is really cute, just a little 40%. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. We got some foam here. <clears throat> Gosh. I don't know what this is. Um, This is probably gonna be one of the few boards, well, I honestly did not look this up at all. I kind of just, the Cyrus sent it over and was just like, have fun with it. So we're just gonna just enjoy today, bro. Got a PCB here, is it? Plates of the board. Okay, let's take a look at the PCB. Look it again. <laughs> Dude, I, you know, not gonna lie to you guys, after I licked that keyboard, I had a funky taste in my mouth all night. So I don't know if that's gonna happen again, dude. Oh, look at this cute little PCB. All right, one little cut over here. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with it, dude. Uh, the mouse is from Leonardo the Mouse. No real story behind it. I just, he just saw I liked red, because I do like reds. Oh, this is a nice little hot swap. Um, again, I don't really have much info on this. I don't know the price. I didn't look anything up. I just, maybe we'll look it up afterwards, um, Brisk. <clears throat> Ugg Tug, thank you so much for the tier one, bro. I appreciate that, dude. As a coffee person, I appreciate the iconography. I am a very much coffee person. Yeah, what, is, what kind of, is this a tea mug? I, no, this can be a cappuccino mug. This can be a cappuccino. I've had cappuccinos in this. Uh, do you think it'll be worth to buy an alu plate with the sequence? Oh yeah, 110. Hi, Paloke, how you doing? All right, let's see what else we got in this box of goodies. <sighs> but why coffee cup, but call it chalice? You know, I quite haven't figured that out myself, but isn't a chalice just like, what is chalice? Does a chalice have like a specific definition? Is a chalice like what you see in Indiana Jones? Chai plus Alice? Fuck, that's kind of big brain. Oh, maybe it is supposed to be a T keyboard. Bro, you're actually, you guys are actually so fucking smart. Did you figure that out on your own or did you already know? You guys are actually so smart. So nice. That's actually so smart, bro. Zappy, thank you so much for the prime. How are you guys this smart with this? But then when I ask you guys which hand you guys use to wipe your ass and you guys tell me right and left and I ask why you guys don't use toilet paper, how come you guys fall for that and then can figure out puzzles like this? That's crazy to me, eh? That's real crazy. I don't know if I like this flavor. I don't know if I'm here 100% for this flavor. Chai Alice makes much more sense. Even if that wasn't intended, that makes a lot of sense. We don't talk about that. There's another 40 Alice board called the Ch the Chai, the Chalice. Wonder if Alice, oh, is there? So That'd be kind of awkward. Thank you, Nazzy. I appreciate your prime, dude. Thank you, thank you guys for using your prime on me. Best bubble tea flavor. All right, I, I haven't had this flavor in a long, long time but there was a place that used to make strawberry kiwi. Can you type so I can listen? Okay, I won't talk to you guys anymore, I'm just gonna type. I'm kidding, I won't do that. Um, strawberry kiwi, and it was so good. And then that place stopped making strawberry kiwi. That was my favorite flavor. I also have been really into lychee with coconut jelly. Fred, thank you so much for the pee pee poo poo. Appreciate it. We have a PC plate over here. Thank you again, guys. I appreciate all the, the love and support. Lychee, lychee is my favorite right now. Cute little cup in the middle there. So there is the flex cut even on the PC plate, which is interesting. What is your guys' favorite bubble tea? KTT Rose bubble tea? You know I don't like rose drinks. They're okay. I had a place near me that stopped making their cantaloupe. 
Oh, that sounds good actually. Cantaloupe frozen yogurt. It's like, okay, there's a there's a smoothie place around here that made like a mango watermelon smoothie. And it was like limited and it's so good. And the only time I'm ever gonna go there is when they bring that back. That's how good it was, dude. Brown sugar, brown sugar is okay. I've had it one time. You know, I'm not too much into melon flavors myself. Honeydew I've never had. Do they even have a place with honeydew here? Oh, coffee. I've heard of that place, but I've never been. Like, I've seen it on Uber Eats, is it? Oh, I don't know why I'm throwing this on the floor. Okay, we also have Palm, which I don't think I'm gonna use. Actually, you know what? You guys pick tonight. I'm not picking. You guys pick the plate. There's Aluminum, Palm, PC, and FR4. You guys pick literally everything tonight. I love, dude, Wara, I love you too, dude. Thank you so much for being here, bro. There's no PP, unfortunately no PP. Creme brulee? I've never dared to have the creme brulee drink yet. It just seems too desserty. And usually when I'm on the hunt for bubble tea, I'm like, bro, just give me something refreshing. I'm seeing a lot of alu in chat. A lot of alu. Honeydew is often just melon. Oh, is it? Sounds interesting. I know what honeydew tastes like and I love honeydew. I'm surprised more places don't do stuff with kiwi. Kiwi's such like a good flavor to do things with, but you never see it and it's kind of disappointing. There's the alu. Do we want to do alu, guys? We could do alu. I think most of you guys are picking alu in chat. Pull up on the plates. Oh my God, Insty, you're actually the best, bro. Actually too good. Does your plate preference uh, vary on size? Nope, it's always my plate preference at the moment. Dude, here's the, the rankings of plates for me. Let's take this one here out too. Should throw all these things out. Alu Palm FR4 PC, okay, okay. Vote if you guys wanna see it done with a specific one. Okay, here's my plate rankings. Personal preference, obviously. Alu number one. That's an obvious one for me. Best. Overall sound profile, I think, especially if you like higher pitch sounds. FR4, I notice with FR4 you don't get quite the higher frequencies like you would on Alu. So you lose some of that metal sound, which is replaced with, again, a more plasticky sound in some cases. Um, but I think this is, this is probably the most balanced for anyone who's wanting to try like something other than metal. Then we have poly polycarbonate. I don't mind polycarbonate at all. Then palm. Um, I don't know why, I've, I've built very few keyboards I ended up keeping with palm plates. It's just not really up my alley. P PP is, like polypropylene is pretty good, but I, you don't really see too many with PP plates. There ain't no PP here. Looks like we're doing alu. Um, Listen, I think there is differences between, <laughs> he said PP, uh, difference between FR4 and CF, but to be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of crap ton of differences. Some people have said that it sounds a little bit, um, I guess like deeper in some cases, but <laughs> you guys. You guys are being silly. PP talk again? Yeah. <coughs> oh, brass plates? They're like off the table. I've built, there's one keyboard in my entire collection that's built with a brass plate that I'm like, okay, this is not too bad. Honestly, there's not much. I don't really use brass plates too often. All right, and then we have some little gasket thingies here. And we also have this guy. Cool. All right, taking a look at the board. Side profile is pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Um, not really a box, but a box on wedge kind of style. And then we have the bottom. <clears throat> I have not removed this protective film yet. We will do that afterwards. Show it, please. Are you talking about my PP or what's going on? Yeah, we're talking about PP plates and you guys talking about PP. Then you say, show it, please, all caps. I'm confused. So much honking outside. I think there was an accident. I heard CF feels stiff and flexy. 
I emote feels exactly the same as FR4 to me. And then the inside. Inside is interesting. We're gonna open this up in a bit here, but I love this texture, man. Look at that texture inside. Like that's so beautiful. I, I really would love to see that on the outside, honestly. Maybe for their next board, they can do that. The weight is beautiful, yeah. I know, I agree with you, Dong. It's low-key kind of sad, though. Like, it's really nice. Oh, actually, how many stabilizers do we need for this? Where's the... What's this look like? Do we only need two stabs? Is that it? I feel bad for opening a whole pack of new stabs for this. Oh, well, I guess I will. A special edition one? Dude, that would be sweet. I don't know, I think it'd be super cool. Wait, no, that keyword had brass, plates. Um, This one here, I don't think has a brass plate, no. I was just saying brass plates in general. I'm not a big fan. It's a chalice, I want the pink one so bad. What other colors are they offering? I, again, I haven't looked too much into the chalice. This comes up a lot. What stabs do I like the most? Um. I'm gonna be honest, Thaki. Most stabs can you can get to sound like pretty much the same th throughout. Here's the thing: depends on how good you are in lubing the stab. It, it's not crazy hard to lube stabs IMO, but uh, it depends. There there are certain stabs I say that are easier. I think at the end of the day, the majority, here's, here's my honest thoughts on this. The majority of people would probably find Duroc stabs to be the easiest to install or Stabies. Um, with, and the reason, the only reason I don't say Cherry or TX is because some people do have small issues uh, with either lubing the Cherry stabs or lubing the TX stabs or just assembly of clip-ins. That's the only one. Owl app stabs are great too. I just, I really don't have like a consistent supply of those. And I would say they're on par with the Duroc stabs. The only thing is I find their wires to be a little bit nicer. That's really it. Do I have enough lube in here? Uh, Zeal stabs? I don't like zeal stabs. I find them really awkward to assemble. Is it? I don't know if that's just me though. I find zeal stabs just so tough to put together. But the most price effective, if you want the most price effective thing, dude, the YouTube stream is great. Which YouTube stream? We're doing that on Sunday and Friday. Well, I don't know about t uh, Sunday, but Friday, tomorrow 100% for YouTube stream. I think I might have thought yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow is one thought one we're doing the Zoom 65 on YouTube. Oh, the, the other time? Yeah, it'll it'll come back. We're doing another YouTube stream. Zeal stabs ain't worth it for the price. How much are Zeal stabs nowadays? What are those going for? Thoughts on the January? I love it. I mean, I love, I'm kind of like a sucker though. So take what I say with a grain of salt for any O-ring board like that. I think they sound like beautiful. Uh, the January also just had a nice finish. Like the polycarb was great. The alu was good too. No real quarrels there. Seals are $40. Yeah, cherry stabs are like the king for affordability. And if you know what you're doing, they can sound just as good as everything else. And they're clipping, so they work for everything. But I do find for a lot of beginners, they're the most, some of the more trickier ones to get, get tuned right, for whatever reason. <laughs> no way uh, someone sells stabs for $40. They might actually be, Zeals are like 25? Okay. They might be 40 Canadian then. Is it 25 American? Yeah, 40 Canadian makes sense. Damn, that's high. Uh, do you think this will sound similar 
Wait, do you think the sound will be similar between switches for O-ring builds? Um, interesting question. I don't think so. There's variables that can go in that, but I think if you have a nice O-ring board with a nice like weight to check some, some densities or change some densities up on the board, you can get a really nice sounding board. <clears throat> oh, I haven't. Okay, for anyone who hasn't, okay, I still need to do this. Sunday, we're gonna do the user submissions. I'll open it up tomorrow afternoon for user submissions, if you guys want. But no, it shouldn't be an issue. What's up, Dank? How you doing, dude? I use dielectric grease for almost everything, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of nervous to open up my new dielectric grease bottle because I think the cap's gonna break. Probably. They always seem to, to break. Chep sub sessions, I sent a picture of PC Chalice. Oh, let me see. There's a polycarbonate one. Oh, wait, do you guys wanna see something really cool? Let me, go, let me go quickly, quickly grab it. You said polycarbonate and it just reminded me of something. One second. Okay, hold on, let's move this over for like one second. Thanks, Chaos. I appreciate that, bro. Oh, you're talking about XHTBDZ. Okay. I haven't actually opened this up yet, but I did see the color looked beautiful. Um, so this is a QK60. Oh, that is so nice. That teal and... Oh, okay, foam, get out of my face. That is really pretty. Dude, that polycarb teal combo though. This is definitely more on like, like a sky. It has a bit of green, but I think it leans more towards blue. Oh, it's acrylic? Yeah, it's, it's a, sorry, it's acrylic, my mistake. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell. I think it is acrylic. Yeah, I can't remember if it's polycarb or acrylic. Dude, look at that, look how beautiful this is. So this is the acrylic top, and hold on, let me see what what options say. I know I talked to Syra about this. Let me um, pull up my chat with Mr. Syra. It is the... God, where did I even talk in this? Okay, it's an ACR top, mint ball. This is considered mint. Actually, is, would you guys say this is mint? Yeah, honestly, it's a nice like little diffused. Yeah, th this is mint. This is called mint. Yeah, I'd say it's mint. Looks mint. Looks refreshing. Cool though, I can't wait to build this. This looks sweet. All right, let's, let's keep going with this guy. That's mint like Dolis is green. <laughs> cool mint. I've been seeing so many of those TikToks where kids are using like toothpaste and it's that meme where it's like, oh, this is spicy. Do people really find mint spicy? When's that being built? I was gonna do it Sunday. Um, because I think the other, a lot of boards got delayed this week just because of like slow shipping. So we'll see what doing it maybe this Sunday. Can't wait for GB, the QK60. 
Me too. I'm, I'm excited to, to take a look at that. I think the last QK really, like, was amazing. Where did I put the wires? Did I not take out the wires, guys? Maybe double build? That's why I was saying we might have to do a double build. Might, I might have to, man. I don't know why everyone, well, I was, ex someone told me why, but like, everyone decided to do builds this month for like prototypes. And now I'm just like up to my butthole with fucking prototypes. Posture, okay. I was watching your stream is bad for my wallet. No, it's, it's not bad. Think about like this, guys. If it sounds bad, or if something's mid, then you guys don't have to purchase it. But I hope I hope you guys understand that financial responsibility is the first thing that's very important on this channel. We're all in agreement of that, right? Right? Financial responsibility is the most important thing. Better be. Better be, dude. Uh, Minerva will be soon too. <clears throat> Alex over here price gouging his streams. Huh? Price gouging streams? <laughs> Tail stream hurt wallets. Alex, just chill, let's be fair. When's uh, Mr. Nathan gonna be streaming? I thought he was supposed to come back already. The desk mat came with the dolis. I have no, I didn't even know I was getting this. Um, so I don't know if this is available. Do you guys know? Just went through a job, <laughs> a job change and I have some issues with Kono as a vendor. Oh yeah, I think a lot of people have issues with Kono. <coughs> He's practicing dodging 360s. That's actually true, dude. Still doesn't recover from the 360 no scope. That 360 no scope's really taking a toll on Nathan. That's true. Reagan, don't, did you get a desk pad too? Did you know you were getting a desk pad, Reagan? I didn't know. It's nice though, I really like it. Just uh, got Dolus in though. You got the, oh, you didn't know? Yeah, it's weird. It was announced with the GB? I didn't read that part. Ah. Yeah, this is kind of mid this flavor. It's my last one of this flavor though. Coconut pineapple. I don't know. It's all right. I don't. I don't know if I like. I like coconut water, but I don't know if I like coconut pineapple. <clears throat> no, it's coconut. It's coconut uh, pineapple. It's all right. Nothing special. Um, you know. Listen. I don't know if you guys want to do this, but do you guys want PP or PP? PE? <laughs> do you guys want PP? Do you guys want PE film in this or nah? It's up to you guys. I, I, I'm literally leaving like all of this up to you guys. Just no or yes. Either way, I think I'm gonna put the mid plate film in. Just cause. They usually want you to do that. Usually, yeah. <laughs> you want PP but not PE? Okay, we don't have to do it. Honestly, Prediction? Shannon, thank you so much for the rate of three, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, prediction though, there's only one flex cut in this entire thing. So I'm not too concerned about this sounding thin. That's my prediction for today. This isn't your, dude, this isn't, go figure they choose the smallest form factor to not overdo it with flex cuts. But this, there is not a lot of flex cuts in this at all. So I'm kind of down just to do it with regular, Regular old foam. <laughs> Am I supposed to use a different size wire or something? How does this work? <laughs> uh, do I have a different size wire? Uh, did it come with wires? I don't think it did. Ru ru I mean, it looks like you can do it without that, so we'll probably just build it without it, but... Let me see, actually. Chalice keyboard. Oh, 
that's not it. I don't know if they have any documents about it. I know I have one in my, my, my emails here. So let me quickly look it up. Chalice 40. Click to review. What are you guys up to today? Today's just like an extra one-off stream. I feel like this, this week here we've done so many streams, dude. So many. We needed three wires, I think, for that. But I don't think it came with any wires, unfortunately. And I don't know if it says in the package if it does. <clears throat> Study for like five hours? Damn, dude. Oh, I guess I didn't need to lube anything. Oh, well, let's put these back on the thing. It's more time with you guys. I didn't know three-year wires were a, th a thing either, because... I mean, like, I'm not stupid, right? Like, that's bigger than normal, right? Oh, custom 3U wires will be provided as gifts. Oh, I don't think I got those in the chalice box. Hold on, let me double check. I don't think I got three U wires. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that. I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, I don't see I don't see any three U wires. The only thing we got were these two. Little baggies. Oh well. No, build not canceled. We can still build the keyboard. It has uh, other ways to build it on the bottom row. So let's do this guy. I still want mid plate. I don't know why. Sucker for this. Actually, it's not too intrusive either. Then we're doing alu plate. <laughs> they hate alus confirmed. They said no gifts for you, dude. Although I've never aligned. This is the first time for everything. Align something without the uh, stabs being there. This goes the other way. Interesting. It's a 40, yeah. It is indeed a 40. Let's do this first. Push you through. We just got to align everything now. Which seems like it's being a pain in the butt. Catching a stream right before class has put me in a great mood. I am so happy it has. Today has been super productive for me as well. Hopefully it has been for you guys too. But the productivity levels today have been pretty sky high. Why is this being so difficult to go in? Let's actually do this one here. All right, that one there went in so we can start with the aligning. The playlist is Lo-Fi Girl. Simple, simple Lo-Fi Girl. Outlabs should have taken advice from Glorious and glued the plate to the piece. <laughs> yeah, just forced everyone to. Just been like, hey guys, you guys have no other options. Pick this or don't build anything. All right, there we go. We're aligned now. It's cute though, look how cute this thing is. I'm dealing with hot flashes and this summer has been unbearable. This is the first day with tolerable weather in months. Um, No, I don't know about you, but it was so windy for us here today. It has been incredibly windy. All I do is sweep and do dishes, but I'm okay with that for some reason. I think that's still very, very good. That's still like not a bad thing at all. I don't know if this plate is just being a little bit tough to deal with here, but it feels like it's the plate. Uh, no, this is not a Vega. 
Above is the Kohaku. I feel like this is the plate. Plate seems a little bit tough to deal with. Oh, it might be because the flex. The giant flex cut. Goodness me. Plate fork it? We can't, we put foam in between it, so the plate fork becomes a little bit useless here. My goodness. The plate seems a little tight. Honestly, I kind of low-key want to just keep going, but I'm also willing to just swap to FR4 if the aluminum plate's a little too tight for this. Did I hear Kuhaku giveaway? I don't know who said that. Today's a good day because I got my car fixed. Let's go. Someone ripped the mirror off. Did like hit it by act like was it an accident or was it just them being like jackasses? I assume jackasses. <laughs> Casey giveaway pause, huh? Maybe there'll be something fun in the next upcoming little bit for, for giveaways. That's for sure. Um, I don't know if this says arrows. Let me double check. I mean, this is the only <coughs> slots it has, so we'll see what it, how this looks when we build it all up. Oh gosh. What's annoying about this though, I think we just have to kind of work the switches in here a little bit. Let's actually grab the nicer switch puller. Honey, I shrunk the keys. Right. We're getting it in. It's layer based arrows. Oh, interesting. It's, an, it's a neat little layout. but it's solder only. I think, did I ask for a hot swap? Oh no, this is the chalice. They just sent this one here over. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think I would have preferred the solderable Leo with this in all honesty. I think solderable would have definitely been a little bit more uh, fun. Oh gosh. That's an Alice 40, it is. I wonder, I'm gonna try a different switch really quick. Oh yeah, that one there goes in, no problem. Perhaps it's just these JWK blueies. They're probably just a little bit tighter. Interesting, the JWK, let me try KTT Roses on a totally different one. Nope, roses, same thing. But the Wuche ones went in fine. Alex, have you been a fiend of the JWK Blueys? I've been enjoying them. And what's nice too is we've been using them in hot swap builds. So I get to try them in a whole bunch of different things as we go. Did you guys see that Gundam uh, brawler, like team brawler game? If so, how do you guys feel about it? Because I saw it and I'm, I'm tempted. But I also don't know how I feel about it. I'm like, kind of meh about the whole thing. Overwatch at home. God, dude, these are like, this plate is tough. All right. That didn't go in nice either. It's basically Overwatch. Is it? Is that what everyone's saying? I didn't watch much of it. Okay, honestly, I'm just curious to see the FR4 plate. No, this is just as type two for some weird reason. Okay, we'll just keep going with the alu. 
As a guy who loves uh, UC Gundam and hates Overwatch aesthetic, it's right up my alley. Like I saw a few friends play and it looked really cool, but I also, was it, is it free? But Super Mikusta, isn't Overwatch 2 literally just Overwatch? Isn't it just literally Overwatch? That's what's confusing about Overwatch 2 to me. No? It's not just Overwatch? I thought it was. Is this plate slipping a little bit? It is. <clears throat> it isn't? Includes PVE? Oh, really? What the hell are they gonna do with PVE Overwatch? Sounds interesting. All right, that one there went in nice. That one there went in, not nice. Let's see if we can just grab this. All right, that went in better. I hopped on Gundam Evo when I saw uh, Pale Rider in the tutorial. I literally soy faced. Uh, so take that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it looked, it looks cool. I, I think it'd be something I'd kind of be into, but. My other problem with flex cuts in every part of a build, or just in general. All right. We'll slowly get it all. Flex cuts just make everything so difficult to install too. Will we ever get an Alex Gunplus stream? I'm, I, I want to get stuff. I just don't know what I want yet. Honestly guys, I'm probably just gonna switch the FR4 because this is becoming a mission to put these things in. And even taking them out is kind of tough. Let me just swap them. It's not like we're in a rush today. Apparently in Gundam Evo, you get a penalty for leaving casual and can't join back. Really? Was there like an Apex event too? Training day of the chalice. Yeah, the plate's too tight. It's like a hair too tight for the alu. And these are switches I've actually mounted before. So this should actually be like fairly easy. There goes one switch. Fairly easy to, um, oh well, to put in. But they're really, really tight. Pain. Yeah. It's a good thing I have extra switches. That's how tight they are. Okay, buy this plate. FR4 coming up next. See if you're any easier to use. Honestly, I might even just cave and use one of the plastic plates. Oh, what am I doing? You're building grip strength? Dude, I didn't want to build grip strength today. Today was not really ideal for that. Even this is too, like, yeah, well, I guess I kind of knew that coming in. This even is a little bit too tight. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Let's try palm. Flex cuts. Either they help a build be a little bit. Did you get the Dolus as well? No, I got the Dolus. I purchased one last year for myself. Well, was it last year? I don't even remember. Prototype for a reason? Yeah. It's the nice thing about trying these things out. That's for sure. I will say though, will this plate be a little bit nicer to work with? Will this give us a little bit less trouble? 
Probably not. But at least with this, I can work this underneath. I feel like this is gonna be a little easier. We'll use the, we'll use palm tonight. Why not? Yeah, this is a lot easier. Uh, Dolus build will be soon. I just don't know what I'm, the thing is, I, I wanna build the Dolus with roses, but I don't have any roses left. Too much flex cuts. Um, you know what's funny? Not even too many. It's just causing the plate to move up and down and we wanted, well, I wanted to use mid plate foam. So it's becoming too difficult to kind of get in there and support the plate even with like, I don't know, a tweezer. So we're, we're left using uh, a plastic plate. Just cause it's easier and will cause us loss, less problems in the, in the uh... wait, your wife's in labor right now? Kopi, good luck. Chat, can we get some good lucks for Kopi? Have, uh, have a good rest of your day. Go support her, obviously, but good luck. Congratulations. Good luck, dude. Good luck, good luck. All praging for you. Let us know how it all turns out, my friend. Best of wishes. Oh, I almost grabbed coffee. I really want coffee. Being a dad is awesome. Let's go, dude. <sighs> tap Tap Thursday. Zach, what's going on, bro? It's like night and day difference right now, guys. Absolutely night and day difference with the plate. Uh, this switch plate combo looks like a QK60 proto. Does it? Smoge about the uh, other thing there, the other plate. Oh well. Uh, for plateless salvation, do you think long pull switches are the move? Um, I built mine with 8,008 inks and it sounds great, but I think if you want a little bit more of that uh, particular sound signature, that like, you know, really harsh bottom out, the big clack, then yeah, I think that's the move. That's a lot of inks. I see what you did there. That was pretty good. I did see what you did there. Why are these legs messed up, bro? Palm plates offer very low pitch sounds. See, I think that's kind of where like, it gets a little bit muddy. I don't think they necessarily innately, I mean, I don't think it's like a, an always case, but I think generally, yes, you will probably get lower pitch sounds from a keyboard like this. It's so bouncy, I feel like typing on bricks. Yeah, I don't know, I went with inks and I, I really like it. And I don't think I'd want it any louder than it already is. Um, the Salvation is a little bit of a brighter sounding keyboard. So it will kind of get that uh, nice high frequency sounds all up in your ears. <clears throat> inks are the one switch I can't like. You know, I'm kind of with you there, dude. Inks are the one switch that when they came out, I kind of got into them a little bit. Um, but for some reason, I couldn't get I couldn't get past like a few boards with them. And then I'm like, oh, these are all right. And I, I just, I don't know. But everyone's different, obviously. But I'm kind of feeling you there. I never really got like super, super into them, dude. I feel like there's a lot of better switches. Tangies were, same thing with you with Tangies. A lot of people actually felt that with Tangies, dude. Uh, Salvation is, yeah, still anoing QC. It's just a slow process, because I believe that the anno, everything's done, and I think just the anodizer is being really slow, which happens quite often. Man, I, uh, I think inks are the only hype switch I actually meet the hype, really? They are good, like they're not a bad switch and I do enjoy them every now and then in a board, but they're not not really my switch of choice. Oh, also guys, I think I'm gonna watch some more episodes of Cyberpunk today. 
My God, that show is good. Also, C with Jason Momoa has been like so good, bro. Oh no, it's Glenn. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, but those are my go-to shows right now, man. Bro, it's so good. Yeah, Edge Runner has been, I don't know, I've been, it's been really interesting. I think we're only like three episodes in or two episodes in. No spoilers, but I think the first episode was a little bit muddied. A lot of information thrown at you. But dude, in episode two, everything comes together. I like it. Oh hey God. Alex, how's Uncle your Ryan? day going, man? Thank you, man. I appreciate the tier one sub. Um, and Glenn, thank you again for your prime. I really do appreciate you using that here. Uh, it's going good, dude. We're just chilling, building keyboard today. Nothing too crazy, just cause like, I don't know. Pretty normal day, I think. <clears throat> I worked out a little bit, which is not usually something I do, but I'm trying to get in shape. Cause I honestly, I think I've been uh, feeling it lately. Feeling uh, the not good. Okay, I feel like this switch can be supported a little bit more as we go in. There we go. Perfect. See the new Berserk Golden Arc trailer? I have not seen that. Don't build so fast, I'll slow down. Okay. This is kind of cute. Cute little JWK blueies on this. Let's go. Uh, had the, one of the worst uh, feeling weeks ever last week. What happened, Gambit? What happened to Alu Play? Um. Okay. Problem with this. Let's go through this real quick. Let's switch views. Wrong view. This view. Um. When we're putting in switches, this is bending far too much and because it's already pretty dark, like this is a, I think a little too tight. It's causing so much pressure, as you guys can see, coming down that it's not allowing the switch to clip into place. And because we want to use the mid plate foam, which poses an error, right? Because if anyone's trying to use mid plate foam, you, there's no way to kind of get in there and support this. So I think either they put that flex, like they, if they don't want to change the size of these, they have to add some braces over here for this flex cut, or just, I'd say, do this right on this over here, but. You don't get curved keyboards? Do you mean like Alice style keyboards like this? Uh, they're supposed to be a little bit more natural because I don't think normally you want to put your hands like this. You want to probably put your arms a little bit farther apart. So a little bit more ergonomic, a little bit more natural feeling. All right, let's actually open this guy up now. Since we don't really need this, let's put this to the side. So how on earth does this open up? Let's see. <clears throat> Real chalice at custom KBD. Yeah, it seems like there's another keyboard called the chalice, which pops up when you search for it. I don't think there's any public info on this keyboard. What bit do I need for this? This bit. There is a lot of good looking 40s, I will, I will admit. It just comes down to if you want to take the time to build into one. So I do feel like that's a little bit challenging. Is it just two screws? Is this all it is? Or is it like the other board where you kind of have to or is it this screw too? Might be these ones as well. Who makes this chalice? This is from out. Oh no, there's two more right over here. I didn't even see this. There's two more screws. Um, Owl Labs makes this one here. Did you move? Juby? Bro, I, I did, yeah. I, I did a while ago. How have you been, man? How are things? Oh, look at the inside of this. This is kind of cute. Do you like the new setup, Juby? It's a lot brighter. Although it did get dark like suddenly here, but. Alex, if it's Outlabs, you need PE foam. I don't want to put PE foam. We can, it's hot swap. We can always rebuild it though, Nimbus. Oh, did they have a instruction manual for it? Oh, that's what I have too. Interesting. 
Your logo light isn't on? Did I turn that off? Oh, there you go. I love it. Juby, we have to catch up soon, dude. We do have to catch up. Look at the internals on this. Dude, I don't know why they didn't put this on the other side. This is such an interesting texture. You can kind of see the Owl Labs logo in there. I don't know if you guys can spot that. It does seem to be some like little specks on the inside, so I don't know if this is like unfinished. I turned it off earlier. Oh. This is an Owl Labs board, yeah. Cute though. And then we got these. So it's not quite like the uh, spring, which is good. You don't want, we don't want like everything being the same. So these are extra feet, I presume. Let me make sure. Yeah, those are extra feet. Oh, it looks like they have part of the feet on the front frame. Oh, here's the inside of this too. There's the daughter board. That's where that sits. And they have two J JST connectors? Does that go into the PCB? Is there two JSTs? Oh, maybe it's just either or? Interesting. Just wanted to stop by and say hi, I miss you. I miss you too, Juby. Like I said, we gotta catch up, bro. That needs to happen. And these just get slotted into here. Oh, that's kind of neat. So these just get slotted like that. Okay. And do these get screwed into the top frame? Is that what this is? I don't know, they don't, they just get slotted. Yeah, I don't really understand the two JST connectors, but interesting. Oh, hold on, I think there might be an up and down with these. There's a larger side and a shallower side. Let me see if they have, okay, shallower side goes on top. Interesting. <clears throat> Seems to be the daughter board style going with uh, the Ryo Urgo 2. Oh, so is this gonna be like a new style of Universal? Is it gonna be an updated thing? All right, so this just gets placed in here now, from what I understand. I guess we need our JST connector. New Mini Uni, interesting. What's up, Interloper? How you doing, bro? And now I'm gonna put it in J1 because that's what it's labeled on on the actual motherboard. Does this go up this way or this way? Okay, this way. And this gets put in here. Okay, I guess we can just do it. It's kind of awkward though. How would you, hold on a second. Probably easier if we do it like this. I can't say I like how close the cable is to the, that's kind of awkward. Yeah, it's a little awkward. It's touching the PCB rather, eh, maybe it won't interfere. All right, and this just gets put onto this. Okay, and this just gets screwed down. Pretty simple. I won't put bottom foam for now. Um, let's try that afterwards. Alex, I had to pause stream real quick because I got an interview with a really awesome company. Dude, good luck. Or did you already have it? If so, I'm proud of you. All right, this gets screwed in here. And this gets put here. Pretty simple build today. Today was just supposed to be a short stream, guys. Nothing too crazy. What keycap set should I put, though? That's the actual question. Which keycap set do I use? 
Just got the call that I was selected for interview. Thank you, thank you. Ayo, hey, dude. Even that is a big pog. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of impressive. There's a lot of movement in this little 40. Interesting. Okay, they're using these little circles again just to kind of like touch base on what's actually going inside this. Interesting. Damn, there's actually a lot of movement. Uh, what do I do to stop spacebar stabs from sounding so scratchy? You have to lube them. You do have to mod them. I have a whole tutorial on my YouTube on how to do that. Make sure this is all nicely in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. CRP. Let's see what we can use. Um, huh. I don't know if I want to use CRP. You know what I'm kind of down to use? Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna think, I think I wanna transfer. Okay, we'll have to grab some of the other kitting for this. I think I have the kit. Hold on, let me double check. MT3 or SA? That could be pretty cool. Hold on, let's put, let me just make sure the kidding exists in this. I don't, I don't know if it does. We'll do uh, neon. Put this stuff away though, before I forget. When we scratch a board. Jim K. Greg, bro, I don't know why you guys like Greg so much. It's, it's okay, that set. I'm not a big fan. I don't know why Greg gets so much love. He should have some more, right? Yeah, I mean, should. Let's use this one here, we'll figure it out. Greg is the ultimate shit post set. I just, I'm so meh with, with Greg. Like, I truly don't get it. It's an all right looking set. It definitely, it's definitely novel. I'll give it that. We need more brown sets? That I hard agree with. Very, very hard agree. Oh, this is hot swap. Oh, that means I have switches I can use on another keyboard soon. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Ooh. There's a separate 40s kit and I, I probably have it then. I have a whole like, other set of neon right here. Do I suggest any TKLs? There are some great TKLs right now. If you can, this doesn't go here. Uh, why did switches come out like that? Is it bad plate? It's probably just really loose. And these, these stems are a little bit, looks like they're a little bit thicker. So they are kind of gripping the keycap. Does the Q start here, guys? Or does the Q start here? Fuck, I don't know. Oh, I have to look. Oh no, the Q starts there. Okay, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. That's where it starts. Tiger 80 is great. If you want something a little bit more expensive uh, that a lot of people love, it's the Mode 80. I think that's another great sounding keyboard. Um, also a great looking keyboard too. But uh, what other TKLs are out right now? If you want to join a group buy, there's some group buys happening. Uh, NK87E, also another great choice. However, I work for Novel Keys, so just please be aware of that before you make any like decisions based off of what I say, because I might be biased. I'm not biased, but you know, there is still that chance. Street Fighter 6, VI, Tekken 6 are melty. You know, I'm not really a fighting kind of game person. I never have been. 
The sonnet's great. I like the sonnet. Zoom 65 just opened up for yours. Yeah, we're gonna do a Zoom 65 tomorrow. I would pick the F1 personally, but like, if you can't get an F1 and are itching for something high end, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that like you're, like the Mode 80 is a bad choice. I think you'll be just as impressed. Um, so that, that's just me though, man. Wait, I think this is a nice looking li little keycap set for this. <laughs> What's up, Shaq? How you doing, bro? I can't personally recommend the frog. For whatever reason, I'm just not a big fan of the frog, dude. The frog is not really like a keyboard that I will sit here and like ooh and gush over and stuff. Are you gonna be uh, getting your hands on a Thera? I have a Thera, yes. The Thera will be done in October. Unfortunately, I don't have any slots left at all for September. So that'll be done like first or second week of October. Link or Loki? The link, keeping it, keeping it real, the link to me only had one good sound profile and that's with all the foam inside of it. I don't think the link is, um, did I put that in the wrong spots? Oh, there's supposed to be an extra B. The link is not something that like I gush over. So, and I don't think the link sounded good in its other, um, configurations. You need everything. So you're gonna get that signature Owl Labs foamy kind of sound. If that's cool with you, if not, then that I don't know about. You know, I guess we could do arrows here. Can't we do arrows here? I'm assuming that's what this is for, right? Yeah, let's do the arrows there. Or is this supposed to be for something else, like control alt? Does it have like a layout layout breakout? I'm looking at the, the page for it. I don't know if it had layouts here. It doesn't necessarily say, so let's actually not do that. It does look like it though. Owl Labs uh, seems to put uh, love putting that cursed right shift. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be, but it's okay, we'll see. Okay, next up, what else do we need to do here? I think we do the enter. Okay, I think that's all for these. I'm just gonna move this off to the side. Oh shit, we need the caps lock key. Uh, can you check with Via? I don't know if this is Via compatible. I'll check it out here in a bit. For now, let's just grab the rest we need here. Okay, what else do I need from here? TGR Jane stream on the way. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a Jane. I, I don't think it's ever gonna happen, guys. I truly don't think so. I'm sorry if that's disappointing. I just, I really, really, really don't think I'll ever do one or purchase one. I'm guessing that was supposed to be with a stab, but I guess it kind of works with that one. Yeah, it's just, it's just not for me, guys. Nope, not really a fan. Is there like a shorter enter key here? I don't think any of the 40 supports in this. Okay. Oh. Sounds interesting. Um, I just, I have no will to purchase one or get one in any sort of capacity, unless it's retail. I, I don't personally think it's in me to go and like rush out and spend that kind of money. Is that something you guys are into? Like, do you want something like that? There and then we need deletes. Well, the are back there. I wish you used uh, beige on this. I don't have any beige kits that would support this though. I literally have none. 
so that would just be kind of a lost cause. Unfortunately. It would be a very sad lost cause. No, I think neon still looks pretty good. You're right. This goes here, and then they have alt here. And they have code and function here. Interesting. Very interesting. So let's just put the menu button here and call it a day. And we'll also put a function here. Do I have a function on this keyboard? I don't think I did. Is there a function here? new function button. <clears throat> XMI might support this layout. Are you sure? Does XMI have support for this? I'm honestly, I'm honestly not sure. That would be something I'm very, very unsure about. I think we can kind of set to anything. So I'm probably just gonna do one U of everything here, and then also do a one U. Actually, I don't know what we're gonna put there. Give me one sec though, guys. I'm gonna just quickly uh, use the restroom because I think this coconut water is going right through me. Be right back in one second. What's up, Cancers? How you doing, dude? Okay. I don't know if this came with... I feel like I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. Um, is there not all 1U options here? One, is there not like a 1U of this guy? Am I going crazy? No, I could just put this here for the time being. Oh no, that's not the right profile. Uh, do you see Final Mouse is unveiling their keyboard in December? What do you guys think about that? Bro, I actually, I, I literally don't know what to think about that though. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, it's still the wrong profile. I, I literally don't know what to think about that. I have no idea if that'll be good or not. Like my expectations are gonna be going in very low. But I think that's the, probably the healthiest way to do it. 
I don't, I don't think entering that with any sort of real expectation is good. Bing bong. Geeks. One more till 30. Bro, thank you so much, man. I appreciate all the support, dude. Holy, how have you been, man? That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna put on the bottom right here. Do I just say fri frick it? No, oh, this one here should go there, perfect. And then, what do I need here? Just put arrows there? No, we got it, we got it, we got it. Uh, this is just a regular schmegular, so let's just put regular schmegular. We'll put this guy here. And then this is delete. Or we can just put backspace, I guess, there. Um, like that. And then this can be an escape. Arrows would be cool. They would be, I just, I don't know if I'd want that there. It would be kind of nice though, huh? Would be pretty interesting. Oh my God. Moss, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right. This is put together. Put this off the desk and put this back in its proper case. The bottom right corner. We could put arrows if we really hate it, but this is the non, uh, we don't have an option here. So the solderable version is an option. I really wish they'd give me solderable stuff. I like deciding on these things. It's, it's a lot of fun. You know what though? Like, this kind of is kind of like, this is kind of cute though, man. This really is kind of cute. I've been so tempted to pick up a PBT fan set. I like their ABS version of Neon. I think Neon's probably my favorite set from them, uh, but they have some pretty good stuff. PBT fans is great. Or PBT fans, I say friends. F PBT fans is really good. Like I like all their stuff. Pretty cute little side profile, like nothing too crazy. Uh, bottom has some small feet. We can rip off this thing now. Oh, they're actually, I didn't even notice this. There's a little chalice logo or engraving here on the back too. Uh, is there... Goodness me, how to find out how to get this off. This is the um, desk mat that came with the Dolis. All right. Everyone take it in. It, it, this looks a little, it's my mic, in case you guys are wondering. That's literally my microphone. Look at that. <laughs> looks a little suspect, but I know what you guys, it's just my mic. Look at that, dude. That's, that's crazy. Look at, look at the reflection. It's, that's wild. Sure it's a mic? Bro, what am I talking into right now? <laughs> you mean it's mic, huh? Didn't know I needed a 40? Uh, show us lower? Huh? <sighs> I don't know the price of this, to be honest. If it's 400 bucks, let me see. Does it say here price? 360, oh gosh. What's the bottom? What is the bottom of copper, or not copper, stainless steel or is it brass? 360, it is a uh, very, very, very limited though. It seems to only be 200 units and that's it. I wanna know more about the chalice. Oh, nothing. Entire stainless steel bottom, ah. Oh, guys, you know that thing on the inside? Um, that was titanium. That's why it was different from the stainless steel. Oh, because there's actually an explanation part here that says like, 
Entire stainless steel bottom and titanium beam on the inside are very costly to make. That kind of makes a little bit more sense. I would have actually still liked the titanium beam to be showing on the bottom. Okay. I gotta admit though, did I screw up on the daughter board? It's not typing. Okay, I think I messed up. Either I messed up on the daughter board or this needs to be flashed. Let's open it up really quick. Because there was two spots, but I don't know which one to use. Be brave and make, the t uh, make a t titanium bottom case. That is some real braveness, because that would be extra cost. Right, let's open this guy up. What's the purpose of a titanium beam? I don't know, to be honest, Kerbal. I do not know. It might help break up some sound, but I can't imagine that being too crazy on this board. So other than just some extra material on the inside, maybe for the, the sake of you knowing and I guess flexing to yourself, I don't actually know what the, the true purpose would be. Did I unplug it from here? Is that what happened? No, that's plugged in. All right, let me, let me see. If I plug it into this one, will it work? Again, not quite sure what the purpose of these two JST connector things are. Nope, still does not work. I'm confused. Put it back into this guy. Owlab says not for, I mean, yeah, this board's definitely not for everyone. 1000% not for everyone. I don't know, guys. Do you test the PCB? I mean, no, not in this case. I didn't really care enough to test it today. It could just need a flash. Let me see if it gets recognized in QMK. There would not much I really can do if, if I tested it. Either way, oh, did I just knock off one of these things? 40s are a different breed. I mean, I you know what's funny is I th I've seen a lot of really expensive 40s projects. All right. Maybe that other daughter board was supposed to be for something. Let's see. Let's actually just plug it into the other daughter board. Maybe this one here is no good. If you want a weird small board, check out the QK60. Is it really that weird? Is the QK60 really that weird? I would beg to disagree. Oh, this one here works. Maybe this daughter board doesn't. Oh well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it later. I don't feel like I'm screwing now. Let's just see what it takes. Let's test it right now. I think uh Cobes 40. Plug it down, please. Perhaps this daughter board is no good. Beats me. Tastes like? Huh? No tasting today, guys. Absolutely zero tasting today. The tasting yesterday was already too much. You know, I don't necessarily love the way that this installs from the, uh, the daughter board here. I think the daughter board on the bottom would have been much nicer. Having it kind of like, I guess go like that is not ideal. Is the cable plugging to the PC? Yeah, I was typing to you guys earlier. <laughs> it just seems to be the daughter board on the, the inside here. I'll, I'll swap it out later. I don't feel like I'm screwing. East whatever. QK60 looks nice and small. I got a 65 and 80 and trade to do a smaller board. 60s are a great small format kind of board. 40s are kind of tough to type on. 40s can get weird. Alude, thank you so much for the prime, dude. 
I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see one other thing here too. Oh, this is just something else. Do they have colors? I don't think they do. I don't think they do have colors on this. Uh, some reason they kind of want a 40, but not because of the weird typing layers. I mean, this is kind of cute. It definitely is. Actually, one thing before we get too involved with this. Let's open up QMK. Maybe it's just this. I want to just see if this particular PCB needs to be flashed or something. I know it's just the daughter board, but who knows? <coughs> the foam test? Foam test? Dude, it's, it's actually like kind of warm today. A Bluetooth 40? You know, this doesn't sound too bad. I mean, this sounds pretty standard for what I thought it was gonna sound like. Oh, did a foot just fall off? I do have a few, I guess, little minor grievances with the board. I can't say I like these particular feet though. These are really small. Oh gosh. Uh, one being for right now these feet, I think even Owl Labs used these really, really small feet last time on a board too, and they kept popping off. Um, the other thing I don't really love is the daughter board being on the top. I feel like it's a little easier on the bottom. That way there you can just sit it on top. I touched it, yes, I know, I touched it, my bad. That's a whoopsie on my part, bro. That's a whoopsie. No, I think that this daughter board's probably not that great. This one here works, but it's okay. I'll flop it out later. But let's see what this sounds like for the time being. I'll swap it out later. <laughs> Touching stainless steel is pretty okay. We'll see how it wipes down. All right, let's see what this sounds like. It does have a lot of like flex in case you guys were interested in something like that. So this is very, 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 very soft. Will it make you code faster? Hey, that I, that is only up that one guy who asked. I mean, it sounds exactly what, what I expected it to be. It, it's very flexible though, if you guys are interested in that. It sounds exactly like what I thought it would sound like, dude. Not gonna lie. It sounds like a little, uh, a little bit more on the lower end side, so a bit more foamy. Uh, Cause that one piece of foam that we added. How much will it be going for? This is 360. Now there is a big old stainless steel weight that's done actually very, very, very well. Like this is incredibly well coated. Very, very nice. And there's a piece of titanium on the inside. Again, I think that's my other minor grievance with this. I would have liked to see the titanium on the outside. I do like how this is a shiny finish over here and it moves into a matted finish over here. So that's kind of nice. It kind of gives the uh, the sides a different texture almost. But I do wish they put that titanium beam so you can actually see it. Uh, the gold flake on the inside. Yeah, it's that, that's titanium. I didn't know it was titanium.
stainless can all be always be polished. I don't want to tell you guys something that's wrong, so I don't, I don't know. I've always just wiped stuff down with a microfiber cloth and got it to kind of like come out, but interesting, interesting, cute little build. Cute, cute, cute little build, dude. What do you guys think? Would you guys pay 400 bucks or 360, let's say 400 plus shipping for something like this? You know, if I was into a 40, I perhaps would pick something up like this. It is, it is kind of cute. I, I am a sucker for these smaller. I do also have something that I spent a lot of money on that's even smaller than this. Um, I think I paid close to 600 bucks or something for a, the Alex 40. Which, if you guys haven't seen that one, I don't have it here with me. It's in my parents' place still. But I did buy this guy. I picked up this one I could. This one here was really, really nice. I, I, I was such a sucker for this keyboard. Like, absolute sucker, dude. I, like, needed it. It was so cute. So, so nice. Um, Teddy, thank you so much for your tier one, dude. I'm winning on a Bull Salas. I have the Bull Salas too. We'll be building that very, very soon. That will be done first week of October. Just because they need, I know, right? The Alex Otos. $400 plus is too much for me. Usually for a board, I pay $200 for, uh, yeah. So yeah, it would be about plus like everything else, all said and done, about 600 bucks. Hey, Teddy, how you doing, dude? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Bolsa Alice is so sick. I got a polycarb one here that we can be building up. Like I said, we'll be doing that first week of October. Um, actually, let me just quickly do show you guys. Well, I'm not show you. But basically, tomorrow we're doing a Zoom. That's a YouTube stream. Sunday, I think we're doing something called the Calo 75. And perhaps we'll be doing the QK, which is this one here. So this is the ACR top and the mint bottom. I don't know exactly what's happening on Sunday, but I will keep you guys in the loop. If not, this will be done again for like first week of October. Um, then we have a mode 80 on the, the Monday. Then we have the, I don't know if you guys have seen this, the Arrow 75. You'll probably want to tune in for that one there because that's going to be a giveaway day. I'm giving away the Arrow 75 and then we have a client build. And then, yeah, and then, when I come back from like my mini vacation, which is literally the, literally the next week, on the Wednesday we have some percent stuff and then it's just filled up with keyboards again. Yeah, the Arrow 75, the new Gray Studios one. <sighs> YouTube stream in two days. Uh, no, YouTube stream tomorrow. What time is the Monday stream? The mode 80 will be 7 p.m. Everything except for Sunday is 7 p.m. Arrow will be Tuesday, so next Tuesday. The 27th? 27th. I don't know, should, it should be interesting. This is cool. This is cute. I like this colorway a lot. This mint. Actually, maybe it does lean a little bit more green. But this, uh, this mint color is really, really pretty. What time is the Monday stream? 7 p.m. Dude, I, just, I don't know why I just thought of something. I forgot someone asked me, when I post that video of me like having fun with that keyboard, the uh, Class 80, someone was just like, dude, uh, what, I, what am I exactly listening to? I can't, like, I can't understand it. Why does your keyboard sound broken? So I, I explained to him, uh, it's like a buzzer in the keyboard. And then he hits me up with like the most ridiculous question I've ever heard in my entire life. He just like, can you blast tunes from it when you type? And I was like, like whole tunes? He's like, yeah, like can each keyboard, can each press like play a whole song from the keyboard? And I'm just like, why would you want that? Is that valid? I mean, you're gonna be typing at a speed where you can't even hear that though. That's kind of like, is that valid? Well, maybe I'm just being cynical then. Am I being cynical? I don't know, I thought it was ridiculous. I'm just like, it'd be sick. But you wouldn't be able to hear anything past like the first beat. Dude, I thought it was a soundboard. All right, maybe I'm being cynical, bro. Maybe I am being cynical. Uh, you got me hooked on keyboards, my man. I started with the Akko uh, 306 uh, 
306 8B plus. Ooh. The Q1's gonna be nice. <laughs> nice for you, dude. I <laughs> hope you get that and like it. <coughs> Plot twist was Glarsis. No, it, it was uh, someone who comments on a lot of my videos with like silly questions all the time. A specific, okay, that I can understand. That'd be pretty cool. Like a specific note, but I don't know about a full song per key, per key stroke. I think that would get kind of messy. I think it's silly. I thought it was a bit silly too. But you know what? Maybe you guys are right. Maybe I'm being a little bit cynical. Maybe it still is valid. You're right about that though. He's in chat feeling really bad right now. His name is Troy. Troy, don't ever feel bad for your questions. <laughs> One time Troy asked me, what happens if you put five feet on the keyboard? Will it change the sound? I still remember that, Troy. <laughs> Every time I, I post something, he'll DM me a question. <laughs> Troy, I love you. I don't, you're, you're, I don't think you've ever tuned into one of my Twitch streams, but. Yeah, like if you put a fifth bumper, bump on on the, the bottom. <laughs> I love you, Troy. I remember watching a short that had Ahiego sounds. Oh gosh. Troy the boy, I heard it helps. You're valid, you are valid, Troy. Get Troy a full song keyboard right now. You know what, dude? You know what I should do? I feel like, Troy, you know what? If you ever, if you ever, no, fuck it, dude. Troy, I will send you a keyboard. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a fifth foot just in honor of you, dude, on a keyboard and send it to you. And you can tell me what you think. I feel like Troy is Space Cables memeing your ass. It, it honestly could be. It's from an account with no followers. So Troy, if you message me and happen to watch this, I'll send you a keyboard with five feet. I have extra feet lying around the house. I'll make it work. It won't be the same as the other ones, but. Be right back, making a Troy clone account, huh? Greatest character ever. He's gonna get it and be so disappointed. There's no difference. Uh, Troy is a feet lover. Oh gosh. Hi, it's me, Troy. Someone find Troy. I don't know what his username would be on Twitch. I, I don't think he's ever, like I said, I don't know if he's ever tuned in. I'll just DM him afterwards. Uh, goes to show commenting on Alex's videos pays off. Oh my God, don't, don't say that. I already get enough people asking me for free stuff. People, people think I'm like literally made of free things. I had someone, I think the the thing that made me laugh the most, it was, it was just a, I know everyone shoots their shot. I, I made a post on Twitter about, I liked like, a, I was like, oh yeah, I just did this keyboard. And it was like something I didn't keep. And I made a comment saying like, wish I could keep it. And the guy messages me, he's like, uh, he's like, bro, if you're not using that anymore, would appreciate you sending that to me. And I, I just like responded back with like a snippet of like not keeping this going back to the beginning. He's like, give me that tracking code, I'll intercept. And I was like, these guys are thirsty for keyboards, bro. These guys are actually thirsty as fuck for keyboards. He's gonna intercept, he said, that's crazy. That Sunday hen, no, that's mine. That's literally on like a, a wall. It's like a trophy wall. Uh, I get ignored all the time in Twitch chats. Nork, did I ignore you? Hold on. I'm gonna look at your messages, Nork. People really be wild. I know Glarsis has it pretty rough, I think. Um, I think you want a different keyboard? Maybe. Letty, thank you so much for the tier Hi, one, dude. Alex. All the best. A train robbery? Reminds me of, uh, what's that game called? Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption, dude. Thank you again, Letty. I appreciate that, dude. Ignore me again? Oh God, what a burp say. Hi, Alex, I'm a big fan. Check whispers, I'm shooting my shot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, ext I'm gonna tell you guys what burb said. All right? Burbs, can I read this out loud? Am I allowed to? <laughs> you gonna out him like that? You can if you please. I, I asked permission. Hey, I asked permission, guys. I, I, I got consent. Oh, why am I hearing myself? I got consent, all right? Burbs told, Burbs said this. 
All right. He said, I want you to know that I'm butt naked watching your stream. Burbs. <laughs> word for word, I'm not even kidding you guys. I just gotta... <laughs> Oh shit. I watched stream in the bathtub. Bro, I actually have done the same thing. I've actually done that too. The best way to watch Alex streams? Sounds like Burbless, that tracks. It actually does track. This man is in his own home, who cares? <laughs> Wait, everyone doesn't get naked before drinking? Uh, can you imagine? Just like, that's the ritual. Just like, close off, watch Alex stream. That's it. I feel like he's shooting a different shot. Is that true, Burbs? Is that the shot you're trying to, you're trying to shoot? Is it different? What kind of shot you What kind of shot you trying to take? I just got here and this is what I hear. And on that note, hi Kemper. Uh, watch it, Alex. Twitch gonna get you, huh? <laughs> you know the shot I'm shooting my guy. Hey yo, pop socket. I I can't use those things. I actually get so nervous, dude. You know what's funny? Oh. I'll handle my phone with no case. I will not put a pop socket on it. Whenever I see people hold their phone by their pop socket, inside the anxiety starts to, to rise. I can't do, I don't know how people do that, man. It just, it drives me like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Pop sockets are ew. I don't mind them. Like they look okay. It's just, they drive me like, dude, you're telling me you trust a piece of adhesive? It's magnetic? Oh, the new ones are magnetic? That's something I'd trust even less. Honestly, even less. Uh, I fucking dropped my phone because of that. Yeah, I would never want to do that. I put a case before I put a pop socket. I don't know, I just, I, I don't, I, I've had one before and I think I did manhandle it like pretty badly, but I never once like just held it by the pop socket. It always frightened me. That it would always frighten me, dude. More trusting glue than anything. I love my Rogers pop socket. I got my first week at uni. Slash sarcasm. <laughs> I get you those magnets can be pretty strong. The, are you talking about like the magnet in the back of the Apple phone? Damn, I don't know, man. Just hot glue the phone in your hand. Dude, I actually burned myself from the soldering iron the other day. I touched it by accident. It was off stream. It didn't even hurt much. It just started, just kind of like burned. I don't see them as much lately. There used to be a lot of meta things for the phone. I think everyone's just comfy. A lot of people, like how many people in the chat right now have a, a case for their phone? I was, okay, my, um, a friend's uh, significant other, basically their keyboard stopped working. It was a, um, Fuck, what was it again? Everyone? I don't have it. I'm just, my phone's naked. Um, what was, it was a ducky. It was a full-size ducky and three of the keys stopped working. Bro, I actually wish I kept those switches. You wanna hear the weirdest thing about this? This uh, these switches inside the ducky? They were cherry blues. Where's my switch opener? Okay, you guys know how the stem is one piece? This is the weirdest shit ever. The stems is one, like, is one piece in this. It, it's one single piece, the stem. Inside those cherry blues, like the switches that broke, we had to desolder the cherry blues because they weren't actuating. Um, the, the stem is actually a top and a bottom. It's a two piece stem that's like glued or adhered together. If that's a jacket? Dude, that's, that seems so unreliable because so many of them broke. That I've ne I don't use many of those switches. That's a click jacket. I don't use those guys. Keep it straight up with you. I've never seen that before. I've never used one. Never once in my life. That I'm never gonna use one now because after seeing that. Wait, what's the point of that? Why don't they just make it one piece? The feeling of the jacket? Is it just a different material? 
because they're cherry click jacket switch designed to make an audible click okay yeah but like why what's the point of it i might call theremin actually or message him and see if he can explain it to me i might have officially progressed to the stem only looping a lot of honestly again dude switches are getting so good especially linears they're getting so good right now that you don't need to like pump on lube and burbs you know what's even better getting better by the day like prime time better you burbs i love you dude hopefully you're having a great day today dude uh that's me stem only hell i'd rather not lube at all a lot of people have been feeling that way too I don't think I've ever, I built one clicky switchboard ever in my entire life. It was jade switches. Box jades, that's it. Only clicky board I've ever built. I'm uh, personally not a fan. Um, and I don't think I've ever looked into clickies at all past uh, the box jades. I have a whole bag full of blue switches just because I have them as backups for whatever reason, but Jades have a click bar. Loki, I want to give box jades to try. I mean, they're they're not bad, but they're loud. Like in the and the thing is, they're an aggressive kind of loud that I feel like. Why have clickies when you can have a solenoid? Actually, true, bro. Uh, it's right there. Actually, I don't feel like grabbing it. I'm too tired today. My body is aching. Cleaner than jackets. Ah, again, I don't, I don't know. I just think like click like clicky switches like. I don't mind hearing them in moderation, but I don't think I could personally use one on a daily basis. Now can you lube them and love them? I just associate them with pre-builds. Which one's Alaska? I put the navies in my hot swap board. Tactility was nice, but the sound is so annoying. Yeah. Box shade's kind of good. They, they're very, like the tactility is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love the tactility of, of the jades. It's at my parents' house right now. I was using it for a little bit. It, it just got a little bit much. Like I'd have my headphones on or the IMs, which I'm gonna be honest, when I have my IMs on and I'm playing a game with the volume on, I don't hear my keyboard. But with the clickies, I heard it and it was a little bit distracting. Clickies are just built in solenoids. <laughs> Silent clickies? How would you do that? Explain to me, explain to me Twitch. I spent years using clickies with the thought that they were the best overall switch for anything typing. I've learned the error of my ways. I mean, like, hey, everyone's different. Just as like a little, in case someone like is watching this and like diehard clicky fan, keep on doing you. Um, I just personally like think they're a little bit out of my, and I say a little bit because I think if they were a little bit quieter, I'd probably like them, but they, they are a little bit aggressive sound wise for me. Lero, how you doing, dude? I'm doing great. Every girlfriend's first introductory keyboard were clickies. I think ever not even girlfriends, everybody's. Even for me, like I had a clicky board because I was so interested in it. Sounds make sense if you hate loud sounds, but it's actually tactile. Yeah, silent tactiles are great. I like those. A little piece of rubber for the click bar to slam against. Boom. <laughs> Please don't scam me out of my mustache zoom. Did you mustache zoom? I got you. It, it's really bad though, David, I'm tell you it's, I think it's progressively getting worse. I don't even know what happened to, oh, there it is. <clears throat> it's really bad. Just, re it's, it's not that great. I don't know, again, it's all, clickies were designed to be, to pollute and game. <laughs> it's all personal preference at the end of the day. Um, there are a lot of boards that like, I've fallen out of love with, I guess. We're not sorry boards, switches. Uh, eyebrow is kind of a must. I guess it kind of is, yeah. Where can I slide into your DMs? You can tr honestly send it. If you guys want to get, like, message me, message me, an email is probably ideal. My nephew had his first keyboard, specifically one at Clicky Blues. I think that's cute, though. Honestly, I think that, like, getting into it, like, if you're, if you're using it as, like, a stepping stone to get into whatever hobby, do you, man. F like, fuck, fuck the judging. I know we can sit here and have our opinions on it and I hope no one takes it as judging, but you know, I think that's super cute though. 
I think, I think, here's my, here's my thoughts though for keyboards. I honestly think keyboards are gonna get really popular in the next like, not now. I'm talking like mainstream customizable. People are gonna want that just like they want custom computers and stuff in like the next like five years. I think it's still far off. More written content soon, yes. I think uh, next week I wanna fi finish my Tiger AD one because that's up my list too. What do you think of all the old switches? I feel like giving mine away to new people. I think there's nothing wrong with old switches. I just think that tolerances for things now are just getting better and better and better. So like things like films aren't necessarily as needed, uh, but annoyed the heck out of my coworkers so I felt bad. Oh, with blues? Dude, I, I can't see clickies being good in the work environment at all. Um, but all right, guys. Shorter little keyboard build of the chalice. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Little chalice build. Kind of cute. I'm going to figure out why this daughter board in this particular one doesn't work and the other daughter board works. Um, but we'll, we'll take a look. Check the sub channel. Okay, one second. Don't yell at me. Let's go take a look. Sub channel. Oh, the polycarbonate one's kind of cute. Okay, okay. Written stuff's all on my website, alexodos.com. Um, there's not much of it though, guys. Like, don't don't expect like every keyboard to have a written review. I want to get into that. And once I finalize, like, here's my game plan, just so you guys understand. Hydrate, okay. In the next two or three months, I want to really get a hold on my Twitch stream schedule or just streaming schedule. And I want to start doing written reviews for almost every single keyboard going forward. Um, I just haven't really got a firm hold on like how I can manage all these streams and have time to like photograph and do a written review and all that. Uh, and like content in between and brainstorming other stuff. Yeah, I, I personally love written reviews. I. I think they're very undervalued in the keyboard community or just every kind of community. I think written reviews are awesome, uh, but we'll see. All right though, guys. Oh, you want to miss the sound test inks? It's not like we've heard this sound a million times before. It sounds like mid plate foam. It sounds good. I, I personally love this sound profile. So uh, we've heard this sound profile before. Other than that, I think the chalice is cool. Um, I don't know if I'd personally spend 360 on it, but it is a big old stainless steel piece on the bottom. And there's a big tight piece of titanium in the middle too. Best 75, I would personally say the sauna this year. Okay guys, let's go raid someone. Thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Who can we raid? Is Firewire streaming? Let's raid Firewire. No PE foam? None. It, it kind of does sound like it though, huh? It does. It does sound like it does have some PE foam. Take care everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in. I know this was just a smaller stream. Thanks for coming anyways. Tomorrow we're gonna do a nice little Zoom stream on YouTube. So that should be fun because YouTube is, a, I feel like it's a different beast with new faces. So if you guys want to tune into the YouTube stream, go for it. And then Sunday, I honestly might build a, I don't know, man. I kind of also want to build my Dolus this weekend. Maybe we'll do that on Sunday too. I don't know. I think maybe we'll do two or three keyboards on Sunday. So if you guys want something to do on Sunday, tune in. Talk to you guys later. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.